a good afternoon welcome on our video today um uh, today we are looking at biology and uh, this one is from one exam this one is a full paper and uh, it has very important questions that you need to watch and uh, you never know these questions they can be repeated in your exams may it be mid term end of term end of year uh, and uh, even kcse uh, if this is the first time to watch our videos kindly uh, subscribe to our channel uh, like this video and turn on notification uh, to the subscribers we really want to thank you guys for the support that you've given us you can see uh, the channel is growing very fast because of your support you can also write a comment for us uh, let us go straight to the first question you are told define biology remember this is form one define biology biology is the study of life or study of living things uh, b you are told sit and explain the three main branches of biology three main branches of biology we have botany that one is the study of plants zoology that one is the study of animals microbiology that one is the study of microscopic organisms we go to uh, question number two we are told a state three importance of studying biology the importance of studying biology number one help to solve environmental problems e.g. pollution number two help to acquire scientific skills such as data collection used in everyday life next for entry into other professions or careers such as teaching number four knowledge gate can be used to enhance international cooperation next understand developmental stages in the human body go to number b to b name three careers that one uh, that require biology three careers that require biology uh, we have medicine we have teaching we have horticultural go to the next one list three environmental problems solved by studying biology one is pollution another one is food storage next one is drought next is poor health next is conservation of natural resources number four you are told uh, complete the table below about subdivisions of biology and branch on one side the other side is definition of that branch entomology is the study of insects genetics is the study of inheritance and variation uh, cytology is the study of cells omnithology is the study of bands in zoology that one is the standard of fish anatomy is the standard of internal structures of living organisms uh, ecology is the standard of living organisms in their surroundings morphology is the standard of external structure we go to next one physiology Physi physiology is the standard of um, body functions histology is the standard of body tissues virology is the study of viruses number five you're told uh, you're told to state eight characteristics that make an organism be called a living organism you have nutrition uh, growth and development respiration sens sensitivity uh, stroke either irritability excretion movement or locomotion reproduction and then gishes change go to the next one 
how does the nutrition differ in planted animals? Plant manufacture their own food are autotrophic while animals do not manufacture their own food as they are what heterotrophic number six uh, this question is very common a car or aeroplane is able to move from one place to another and they give out exhaust gases but it is not classified as a living organism. List three characteristics of living things that do not occur in motor vehicles. Number one, growth and development. Cars do not grow, they do not develop. Number two, irritability. They do not change according to the environment. And then reproduction. The there is no car can uh, give birth to another car. Number seven. State the characteristics illustrated by the photo below. You can see it. Uh, method. Uh, that characteristics is what? That one is nutrition. We go to the next one. You can see the band moving very fast. That characteristics is movement or locomotion. Number eight. Method, name the most suitable operator used to collect the following specimens for study in the laboratory. Grasshopper, you use sweep net. Rat, belt trap. Fish, fish net. Ant, putter or pit, pitfall trap. Stinging needle, that one is a pair, a pair of forceps. Number nine. Below is an apparatus used to trap specimen. Identify the apparatus. This one is pit for trap. And you can see an organism has been caught. Uh, you are told next to state the purpose of the party labeled R. You can see the party labeled R very clearly. Uh, to prevent entry of rain water prevent entry of uh, rainwater or sun rays number 10 number 10 you told uh, what is a specimen what is a specimen a specimen is a whole or a part of an organism being studied or examined number 10 and number 11 now list three precautions made during a collection and observation of specimen what are some of the precautions that are taken during the collection and the specimen number one collect only the number of specimens you need number two do not harm uh, specimens during the capture or the collection number three do not destroy the natural habitat of the specimen number next after use return any live specimen back to the habitant whenever possible next dangerous or injurious, injurious specimen should be handled with a lot of care such include sting plants or insects make use of forceps and hand gloves in such cases next for highly mobile uh, mobile uh, animals uh, should be mobilized go to the next one number 12 below is a, uh, is a drawing of an apparatus used during the study of biology identify the apparatus this one is you can see it has but s t and u uh, this one is magnifying lengths or hand lengths number b name the part labeled s t and u s is frame t is convex lens u is handle next we go to the next one see the function of the apparatus the apparatus makes small objects to appear bigger a large specimen or magnify a specimen next a student observing a hand 
of an insect using a hand lens. Write the formula used to calculate magnification of the specimen using a hand lens. So magnification is equal to uh, drawing lens over actual length. You get the answer. Number next, she made a drawing of hand whose length was that uh, three centimeter. If the magnification was times two, calculate the length, the actual length of the drawing. So this is how you calculate it and drawing length over actual length. Then uh, the drawing length is three over two. You get 1.5 centimeter. And number 13. See three main differences between a plant and animals. Three main. Three main. I want us to side and plants the other side animals has specialized complex excretory organs plants have simple excretory organs animals respond quickly to stimulus plants respond to stimulus slowly animals have definite growth plants have indefinite growth animals move around to look for food Plants are stationary. Animals are heterotrophic. Plants are autotrophic. Cells, uh, animal cells have no cell walls. Plant cells have cell walls, uh, wall made of cellulose. Uh, cells lack chlorophyll. Animal cells lack chlorophyll. Uh, plant cells have chlorophyll. We go to go to number fourteen. Define the following terms. Taxon. Taxon is a group of organisms with similar characteristics. Species is a group of organisms that can naturally interbreed to give rise to fertile of offspring. Number fifteen. State two reasons that make scientific names to be written in Latin language. Why do they use Latin language? Number one does not change. Number two uh, was widely spoken or used by scientists during Linnaeus time. Number sixteen. State three importances of classification of living organisms. Uh, why do we classify? What are the importance of that? Uh, to place organisms in the right groups for reference. Number two, put together organisms with similar characteristics and separate those with different characteristics. Number three, to organize information about living organisms in an orderly manner to avoid chaos that may arise. May arise if it was done arbitrarily. Next, understand evolutionary relationship between organisms. Number 17. State all the taxonomic units in a descending order. And descending order, we have kingdom, we have phyla, phyla or division, class, we have order, we have family, we have genus, we have species. Number 18, apart from plantae and animalia, name the three other kingdoms of classification, classification and give an example for each. We have one side kingdom, the other side example, fagai, we have mushroom, pratista, we have amoeba, monera, we have bacteria, here we have bacteria number 19. What is binomial nomenclature? 
and binomial nomenclature is assigning of two scientific names to living organisms state three rules of binomial nomenclature the genus genus name should start followed by scientific name this question they keep on repeating uh, they repeat and that's why there is no reason for students to fail because these questions I have found them in the many 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 questions in many many exams including KCSE uh, the name should be underlined separately when under and written then the scientific name is sometimes written with the name of the person who first described the organism adequately number 20 the scientific name of Pao Pao is Karika Papaya which taxonomic unit is represented by the name Karika that one is genus stage 2 mistakes made in writing the name uh, starting the genus name with a small letter mm -hmm. number 2 starting the species name with a capital letter number C read the name correctly Karika Papaya that is how you're supposed to write it and number 2 number 22 no 21 no this is uh, 20 C uh, 21 now the scientific name of tiger is Panthera tigris and that of jaguar is Panthera Okna. state the reason why a tiger and a jaguar cannot interpret yet they belong to same genus they belong to different species number 22 uh, study it does drop this question here so that you can see it properly mm. study the light microscope below and answer the questions that follow you can see it here very clearly part a part g told number one name the part labeled a to l a is high peas b is cause and adjustment knob you can see b yeah c fine and range and adjustment knob d is is body tube e is revolving nose piece f is high power objective lens g is condenser h is mirror L is base and uh, we are through with this video we thank you so much for watching up to the end and uh, if you have any question if there is anything you want us to maybe do uh, you can write in the comment section and uh, we shall appreciate if you have not uh, subscribed I would request you to take a few seconds subscribe to our channel like this video and turn on notification we once again take this opportunity to thank our subscribers and because you can see uh, this work is moving on well and uh, you know our intention is to make our learners uh, perform well in their exams uh, we thank you so much until next time uh, goodbye for now